What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it's against a South Korean uh, random matchup. It's kind of farming clan. Uh, nothing too crazy. Some interesting points about the, this clan though. They are level 8 and almost, not all, but almost every single person on the clan or in the clan is this gay tech person so uh looked up what tried to look up what gay tech means uh did, did not come up successful so not really sure what that is if that's all the same person um maybe i don't know uh but literally almost every single person on the other side was gay tech uh and we'll show you what gay tech did to our bases they did use 47 attacks uh, a few three stars in there uh nothing too crazy Going all the way down the board, mostly twos. Ended up getting a three on uh, Chief Kev there. I think they, actually, if you look at me and Chief Kev on the bottom there, we had 11 attacks on our two bases between the two of us. So uh, <laughs> they gave it their best, but they did struggle, right? The only three three stars overall. We did only have 13 three stars, which uh, is a big shortcoming for us. We uh, do not like that. Uh, we were trying some different kind of style attacks. And... Uh, they had a huge, huge Town Hall 10 advantage. So most of our attacks were 9, stepping up, trying to two-star 10s, which is a, a different kind of game for us. As you can see, they had a... Uh, yeah, that wasn't a three-star, or it wasn't a 10. Um, they had 14 Town Hall 10s. So a lot of these attacks were uh, Town Hall 9s, given their two-star shots on the 10s ago. Uh, did the best we could. Uh, but we did end up with a few KNX triples here, or a couple KNX triples. We're definitely going to show these. So jumping in on this first one here, uh, typical quad Lalo suicide hero strat uh, against this uh, pretty decent Town Hall 10. Uh, very compact style, uh, so really good for balloons. You can kind of tell there's some Teslas in these compartments, and I believe there's one in here as well. Uh, so KNX is going to go ahead. Send his heroes in, really just wants to get his king in this compartment, lock onto that queen, take down that air defense, their job will be complete. Uh, it'll be even better if they do not pull out the CC. I believe uh, I believe he waited for us to scout the CC because uh, he just goes ahead and sends in his air here right away. He does not care. Guaranteed it's a hound and loons in that clan castle. Uh, Ferno's locked onto that queen, so she's going to get taken down just in time. Uh, does not want the hound going over to her and uh, and anything screwing that up. So haste go down, kind of pushing all the loons in. His first freeze goes down, um, gets the inferno tire. Not a lot else on that, but the rage goes down. He wants to push everything over top this inferno and then just kind of sandwich in on the rest of this core. Uh, there goes the other haste, just kind of moving everything around. His loons take a bit of a hike up a bit. I think he wanted to push them across to that inferno, um, so I'm sure he wasn't happy about that. But wasn't a big deal because this huge pack of loons coming in. He's got three on that back wizard tower. Still has uh, his hound unburst there. He's got another one there just chilling. Don't think it even burst for this whole raid. Actually, the Inferno gets it, I think, right here. Oh, maybe not. I lied. <laughs> Sliver of health on that lava hound. It doesn't matter, though. It's clean up at this point. Nice job, KNX. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Just get that town hall, that storage. And it's a three. Nice job, KNX. All right, let's check out your other three star buddy. Number eight here. Uh, so bit, uh, sorry, not a bit different, but extremely different. I was very impressed with this attack. So 10 max dragons. He's going to bring an earthquake to go over top of these two air defense. Two lightnings right in between them. Boom. An, his earthquake and the two lightnings smash those two air defense. So really good read on that. Goes ahead and sends in the suicide heroes on that third air defense and that defensive uh, defensive queen. He doesn't even bring wall breakers. Uh, just beats right in through that wall with his king. Takes down the defense queen. The air defense is down. One more lava hound going in on that uh, final air defense. Few balloons kind of targeting right, right around it just to make sure it goes down. And then he's going to sprinkle these max dragons in all around the outside. And really, without any air defense, the only things he's got to worry about is those Inferno Towers. His balloons are already pushing into that section of the base. So, looking pretty dandy at this point. Rages are down. Those dragons are just shredding through every single building as they go. Uh, there go the Teslas in the core. Another Rage goes down for them. They're going to rip down this Town Hall in a second. First Inferno Tower goes down. Things are looking absolutely great at this point. Really just got to make sure that other Inferno goes down and that Dragon Under Rage is taking care of it. Tesla's going down in one shot here. Bam. 
and there's only a handful of defenses remaining beautiful just got drops a couple of those back end loons to help out the drags just finish off this base nice attack knx very very sexy yes this was a mass drag th10 triple i love it love it love it just goes to show you really what the new lightning and earthquake spells can open up in this game because uh, prior to those updates uh, with the extra lightning level and uh, the earthquake uh, that would not have been possible so nice job knx beautiful six star war all right, so I want to show a few of the Town Hall 9s here. Uh, Dangus had a pretty sexy attack on uh, this number 16 here, R8C, one of the few guys that was not K-Tech or Gay-Tech. Uh, sorry, a little sip of recap juice there. Uh, so goes ahead and sends in a Shatter, drops a couple Wiz right behind that to keep pushing that Golem in. Uh, going to just go ahead and create his funnel. Other Golem goes down here. Queen's going to go down, start taking out this trash. Uh, drops a Poison for the uh, CC troops there. Uh, his Queen's nowhere near, so that's good. But those two Dragons end up locking on, or sorry, the two uh, Wizards end up locking on. As soon as that uh, King goes down, Queen's going to step in there, finish off that Dragon. And down it goes. Uh, just kind of finishes clearing that area. There goes his first dumpy, jump. He just, eh, does bring a double jump here. Uh, so that golem gets stuck on the wall. Uh, not exactly how he had planned it, but as soon as that storage goes down, realizes he can drop the Valks in now. Right, go right at that jump. They're going to clear out this compartment, just kind of work up to this core, and he's got one more jump to let everything else open for the Valks. So looking pretty good at this point. He's got two heals still and 22 hogs in the bag. Second jump is about to go down, and there it goes. So now he's basically let into the rest of the core of this base, starting to sprinkle hogs in on the outside defenses here that the Valks cannot reach. Looking pretty good. Few hogs in, few hogs in. Defense is going down on the outside. Still has all those Valks kind of working on that town hall on the core. He's got a golem now in there doing tanking for all these hogs. So bomb goes off, but the... Uh, Oh, I thought he had one more heal down for that spot. He does not. So loses some hogs to some bacon there, uh, but has a few more hogs for those remainder defenses. There's really not much left of this base. His queen's walking around the outside doing cleanup. He's got a wizard on the other side doing cleanup. Nice job, Dingus. Beautiful attack. Loved it. Sucker for those redheads. Three stars. All right. What else to have? Another gay tech base. I like Gorn's little uh, attack he brings here. Uh, I thought this was very interesting. Um, nothing, nothing too crazy of a base. Uh, really, you know, one of those very compact form bases. You can tell the bombs are behind those air defense. You can tell the Teslas are all in that little compartment. So very easy to spot where the traps are. But what I liked was, let's count these golems. One, two, three, four. So I think we need to make a new... Um, type of attack style like uh like shattered or stone what would a four golem attack be that's that's what i'd like to know um so that's a new town this is a new meta town hall nine uh, attack that goran's bringing here with these four golems i thought it was very creative i think his main worry was all these teslas that were going to pop here so if he only has their shattered those teslas are really going to do some work on the on those two golems so plus the can the uh, clan castle was in very deep as you can see that he's engaging the clan castle very very almost in the core of the base so um i think he had some worries there bringing that extra golem was very smart uh buying his heroes all that extra time take care of that queen take care of that cc CC troops take care of a big chunk of this base. If you look at the rest of this base, the top half of this base, really there's only a few a room for a few spring traps, no bombs. Uh, you know, the Teslas pop on the outer compartments here, uh, but he does have two heals for his 18 hogs and just knows that they're going to survive. He knows 18 is enough. It, it turns out to be barely, barely enough, but it's the perfect number of hogs because he ends up taking all the defenses and has one or two hogs left at the end um, and everything else doing cleanup because those golems provided his heroes so much tanking. And on top of it, they're providing uh, his hogs tanking right now too, right? Uh, really, the only thing attacking hogs is that Tesla up there. Everything else is uh, working on those golems other than the skeletons too. Tesla is about to go down. Archer Tower is the last defense remaining. And as you can see, like I said, literally there's two hogs left. I think the skellies, yeah, skellies even end up getting one of them. Sorry, three hogs left. One more hog's about to die. One hog he has remained there for cleanup. So good job. Gets those whiz down for cleanup on the outside earlier. They're going to work around this ring. That one hog's just going to finish it off. Queen steps in. Beautiful. Nice job, Gorn. 
four golems. Love it. Uh, okay, gonna show just one more here. Uh, it wasn't the craziest, uh, most interesting war. Just they had a huge town hall ten advantage, uh, so it was nice to see us pull through in this one. Uh, Hood rat brings a pretty sexy attack. Uh, reason I wanted to show this one, uh, he just brings a cold blooded goho. Um, the reason he can do this because he does a good read on the base. He can drop his king for queen swap right here. The queen standing on the outside, terrible position for that queen. So king goes in, takes out the queen. His job's done. Uh, keep in mind, Hoodie also does not have his queen for this attack, uh, but this is the perfect base for it, because once he does the, the swap here, he's just going to lure out the clan castle, uh, bring everything back here, does bring a witch uh, and some wizards in uh, his clan castle here. Sorry, it wasn't cold-blooded. I'm I, mm, so wrong about that. It's not even funny. Uh, he brought just witches and wizards to take care of that CC, doesn't bring any golems. And just hogs, because once the queen's dead, once the CC t is taken care of, he's going to send in a couple giants to do some tanking and just wreck this base with hogs. Because you look at the, the uh, how compact this base is, you cannot put a bomb anywhere in this base. So with four heals and 30-some hogs, they're just going to walk through this base. You can heal the base in quadrants. As you see, one and two have gone down, and then three and four are going to go down and basically cover the entire base here so the hogs are safe the entire time there's no bombs there's barely any room for spring traps he does lose one of spring traps there but this hogs are standing on their heels like 90 plus percent of the time there's got a few more defenses to work through uh great read hoodie on this very poor base design uh do this queenless i love it um just just fantastic read because you just know there's no bombs there's no worries you can just swap the queen out as long as you can figure out a method which you did to take care of the clan castle Boom, three stars in the bag. Nice job. That is Hood Rat. <clears throat> Bringing the three star with no queen. So uh, good job, guys. As you can see, I mean, we cleared the nines, did our best on the tens. We had some really, uh, really good successes with nines hitting some tens this war. Got some good practice in. So uh, yeah, beautiful. Nice job, 2.0. Good win, another win in the books. Uh, we, as a 2.0 family uh, right now, are going to be gearing up uh, for this weekend, we got a arranged matchup on the way, and I believe it is a big one. So I'm really excited to do the recap for that and bring you guys some content from that. I'm going to maybe try and get some live attacks in as well. So that would be absolutely fantastic. Just kind of see how uh, see how my schedule goes, see if I can get in there. Uh, but I would like to bring you guys some, uh, some live action from this war coming up. Um, so great. Uh, I think I will call it a day from here though. That does it for your wisdom from wiser guys. Just trying to help you bag that next three star. And until then I'm out.